Rabba Salabos, the Aramande. Father, we bless your name tonight, Lord. We hallow your name tonight, Lord. We bless your name tonight, Lord. We need you now more than ever. Lord, have your way in our lives tonight, Father God. Lord, we love you. Jesus, the name above all names. Jesus, the name above all names. Jesus, the name above all names. Hallelujah. Pastor Beth, just lift your hands. I just sense the Lord releasing some things to you tonight. Blessed be. Blessed be your name, Jesus. I prophesy the fresh downloads of God to you tonight. And I hear the scripture that says, He that dwells in the secret place, O Rabasa, of the Most High, Rabasikia, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And this is a time, Pastor Bev, and this is a season for you to stay in the secret place. Stay in the secret place of prayer. Stay in the secret place of fasting. Stay in the secret place of staying by yourself and shutting yourself alone to be with God. And I see even as you spend continue to spend quality time with the Lord. Yes. I see you writing, and I see God giving you fresh downloads, and I see God even giving you words for your yes. children. Hallelujah. God's going to download fresh words yes. to you. He's already begun it, and you're like, okay, Lord, when, how, or whatever. Yes. But the Lord said, so I'm going to increase that. Yes, he says, because I've endowed you with wisdom. Yes. Hallelujah. And I've endowed you with insight. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, don't push push away from it. He said, push into it. Push into it. Push into it. You have much wisdom. The Lord says, stay before him and release what you hear. For my sheep know my voice and the voice of the stranger they will follow. Pastor Bay, just lay your hands in the middle of her back. Father, I push her forward. I push her forward, Lord. I push her forward. I push her into destiny. I push her into the prophetic promises that have been held back. I speak release to this woman of God that is faithful to you. Your word declares that a faithful man shall abound with blessings. So God, I thank you, Lord, for turning things and changing things for this mighty woman of God tonight in the matchless name of Jesus. And everything that the enemy has meant for evil, I prophesy, Lord, that you'll turn it around. And the Lord says to you tonight, Pastor Beth, he said, through this test, you will, he's going to give you a testimony, and you and your family shall experience and see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. The devil is alive. When I see out of a whole shop, let God arise and every enemy be scattered. Let God arise and every enemy be scattered. Let God arise and every enemy be scattered. In Jesus' name. Come on, everybody. Get, put your hands together. Give God a praise. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you, Lord. I just sense the Lord just wants to refresh you tonight. If you need a refreshing, I don't know what you need in your soul, but whatever you need, there's a spread of refreshing and strength in this atmosphere of prayer tonight. Just take the refreshing tonight. In his presence, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore, God. I say, God, move for your sons. Move for your daughters. Father, I release a special blessing upon uh, Mom Priscilla tonight, Father God. Marcia and Michelle's mother, Father. Continue to bless her. Continue to keep her strong in you, Father God. I thank you for that woman of great wisdom and insight, Father God. I thank you for touching her, refreshing her body. Lord, there's no distance in prayer. So, Father, I release supernatural ministry angels to be around. Can't be camp round about. 172 Blackford, Lord, tonight in Jesus' name. Cover her, keep her and strengthen her, Lord. Thank you for strengthening her body, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, we bless you. Yes, I missed that flow. I missed the flow of the Spirit. Give me a little bit of it, Minister. Don't cut it all off. Father, we bless you tonight. Father, we bless those that are not able to make it tonight. We bless those that are sick and shut in tonight. Those that are home healing, I release words of healing and strength to those that are sick tonight. Lord, I thank you. Isaiah 53 and 5 says, you were wounded for our transgressions. You were bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon you. And with and by your stripes, for you. I speak strength to those that are sick. I speak healing to your physical bodies tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, everybody. Put those hands together. Give God a prayer.
Thank you. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let's give God another hand of praise. I feel victory in the room. You feel victory in the room? Feel victory, yes. All right. I um I taught this a few weeks ago on the prayer on, on our fourth Saturday. I'm sorry, fourth Sunday of prayer on the prayer line on, on the um Facebook Live. And I usually don't uh, take messages and put them in my bag. So I just fold the message up and put it in my bag. And I was like, Lord, what should I share tonight? Thank you, Lord. And when I looked, I looked at it, I said, oh, we really, we really need this. Because sometimes, Cassandra, we can hear a word or we can get a word from God. All of us, all of you that are leaders, all of you that are watching, we are all leaders. And just because God gives you a message or gives you a word, it doesn't mean, okay, that's it, just ditch it. Sometimes it means you need to hold on to it. Sometimes it could, it could mean oh, yeah. that you're really more prophetic than you think. You talk and you right need past. to really hold on to it. Or, right or he's preparing you through the word of God for right. what's coming. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Amen. You're talking right past. Amen. So when we, hear, when, we, when we listen to the word of God, whether it be through, on the prayer line, whether it be Facebook Live, just because we haven't been in the building, we need to, we need to really make sure that we're in tune and hear what the Lord is Talking saying right. because sometimes it may not it may not make too much sense then right. or we may take it as just right. another message but God right. is speaking yeah. right. when we speak God's word we have to realize God is speaking yeah. Right. Yeah. when we speak God's word yeah. Yeah. we have yeah. to realize God is speaking yeah. Yeah. that's not in my notes I just feel that when, when when we hear God's word or we speak God's word we have to realize that God is speaking someone say God is speaking God is speaking so um when I look over these notes, and they're really practical notes, I'm not going to be before you long. But when I look over, I said, we, need, we really need this. This is a word from God. And all I said was on the prayer line on the fourth Sunday, because the fourth Sunday I try to make it a, a time of prayer and prayer requests. And um, this, for those of you that are watching, we will still be on tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. for Up Close and Personal. We're just doing a little Saturday evening gathering, so I just wanted to bring you on to encourage you tonight. And thank you for coming on. But um, my thought was, Pastor Beth, don't be anxious, pray. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. Don't be anxious. <laughs> I, need a, I need somebody to put me on global TV for this message. <laughs> Amen. So I can tell the world. <laughs> Don't be anxious. Pray. Come on, let's give God a hand of praise. I feel victory now. And what I said two weeks ago, which is very prevalent for now, I said anxiety is at an all-time high. Being under uh, subject, you know, it's at an all-time high. Being anxiety is at an all-time high. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Anx uh, to be anxious is a feeling of worry, mm -hmm. nervousness, unease, typically with an imminent event or something with a certain with an uncertain outcome. And I said some synonyms for anxiety is worry. Somebody say worry. Worry. Another acronym synonym for the word anxiety is concern. Somebody say concern. Concern. Another acronym is uneasiness. Somebody say uneasiness. Uneasiness. Another synonym is the word fear. Someone say fear. Fear. Talking right. Amen. Another yeah. synonym is the word agitation. Say agitation. Agitation. Do y'all believe this is a word from the Lord? Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're walking right. in now. Amen. 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 Don't be anxious. Yes. Hallelujah. Pray. Hallelujah. Nervousness, nerves, tension, Terrifying. stress. Mm. I said this two weeks ago. Things that we can be anxious about. The coronavirus. The election, yes, yes. family, marriage, and children. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't put this together. This was together. I'm just bringing it up, bringing it up to speed now. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. Because the Lord is saying, "Be people of God. Don't be anxious. Pray. Don't be anxious. Stay before me. Don't be anxious." And I said on our broadcast either last week or the week before last, what? No matter who gets in, whether you like them or not. Whether you voted for them or not, it doesn't even matter because we're still called as a house of pray to pray. The Bible yeah. says men are always to pray and not to faint, lose heart, and give up. I'm in the book and I know I'm in the book. Say so he's in the book tonight. <laughs> the word also admonishes us whether you like them or not, voted for them or not. It doesn't even matter. He's admonished us to pray 
for those in authority. Yeah. Amen. 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 He didn't say speak against them. You're right. talking right. right. He didn't say put your mouth on them. Yeah, he didn't say backbite as believers. Come on, saints yeah, of God. We gotta, we gotta come up, believers. We gotta come up. Amen. We have to pray. Men are always to pray and not to faint. Let me tell you something. When you pray, if you can pray, it shows where your heart is and where your heart isn't. Amen. You talking right. Amen. Yes, it shows where you need to grow. Oh, yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, it will. Yes, yes. Your first. Amen. 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 You're talking right. Amen. 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 What's going to happen? Said it two weeks ago. What's going to happen? Our future, our work or no work. Um, or maybe I didn't hit tap it, Cassandra. You fill in the blanks. Turn to us by saying, just fill in the blanks. Whatever you need, you just fill in the blanks. Hey, fill in the blanks. <laughs> What's making you anxious today? What's making you anxious, spirit filled? Holy Ghost believer, tongue talker, Bible quoting, right. Bible toting right. believer. What's making you anxious? Yeah. I'm glad you asked. I got a scripture for you. Okay. First Peter 5 and 7 says, casting all of your care, your anxiety upon him. Why? Because he cares yes. for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. That's right. Trust in the government with all your heart. No. Trust in the president with all your heart. No. Trust in the election with all your heart. No. Trust in man with all your heart. No. Trust in woman with all your heart. No. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the ballots. Trust, no. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. But we're still spirit filled Bible tone believers. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Lean not to your own reasoning. And all your ways acknowledge him. And what will he do? He will direct your paths. Right. Hallelujah. That's right. You're talking right yes, there. Amen. Amen. We as adults have to stop being anxious so we can teach and show our children and grandchildren how not to be anxious. Amen. They're anxious because you're anxious. That's right. Mm. 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 That's right. Philippians 4, 6. NIV. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, not some situations, every, every. Uh, <laughs> do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by murmuring, uh, by complaining, uh, by backbiting, uh, by speaking evil, come on now. by fussing and cussing, uh, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, Minister Claire, by clip, by, by prayer, I'll say Claire, <laughs> by prayer, amen, hallelujah, and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. That's right. Amen. Amen. Break it down. The Bible says to be instant in season and out of season. We got to pray when we want to pray, pray when we don't want to pray. Amen. Pray when we like what's going on. Pray when we don't like. We are men and women of prayer. Yes. And sometimes God will allow the pressure to be turned up you so he can right. see how you're going to act. That's right. right. You're talking right, Pastor. Let me stand up on that. <laughs> <laughs> My mother used to say, don't go nowhere and show you. Yeah. I, I ain't going. I'm not going to go to my mother ministry today. I'm mistaken with the word. Amen. <laughs> Philippians 4, verse 6, from the Passion Translation. Listen to this, y'all. Don't be pulled in different directions. I can stop right there and just say that. <laughs> I can stop right there, Marcia, and just uh, close out. Philippians 4, 6 from the, from the uh, Passion Translations. Don't be pulled in different directions or wor worried about a thing. Uh -huh. What happened? Did we throw our Bibles uh, under, the, <laughs> under the bed? I'm talking right, Pastor. You're talking Amen. right. Amen. Right. Did we bury our Bibles? Jesus. Huh. Don't be pulled, Paul said, in different directions or worried about a thing. Uh -huh. A thing. Be saturated in prayer throughout each day. He didn't say be saturated with CNN throughout each day. He didn't say be saturated with Fox News throughout each day. Amen. Amen. He, the word of the Lord says be saturated in prayer throughout each day. Amen. 
when you're acting flesh, fleshy, you are not saturated right. in prayer. You're talking right, Pastor. You're flowing in 100% flesh. Yeah. Be saturated in prayer throughout each day, offering what? Your faith-filled request before God. With your faith-filled faith, faith -filled request before God with overflowing gratitude, tell him every detail of your life or every detail of what you're going through. Then God, what will happen when you do it? Then God's, listen, then God's wonderful peace. All of you that will pull out of anxiety this week, you weren't saturated in prayer. You're right. You're talking right, Pastor. You are talking right. That ain't just y'all in here. That's all around the world. That's why I need a, I need a worldwide platform tonight. Yeah, that's right. Amen. 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 And when you Pastor. preach the word, you teach the word, you right. got to say it like it is. You got to right. cry loud and spare not because yeah. you got to get God's people back on track. Amen. I'm not concerned about what the world's doing. <laughs> I see what the church is doing. Right. Don't be pulled in different directions or worried about a thing. Be saturated in prayer throughout each day. Let me tell you something. What does it say? Verse 6 says, don't be pulled in different directions or worried about a thing. You will be pulled in different directions if you don't stay in the attitude of prayer. Mm, yes. Yes. If you don't make prayer your final authority. Break it down. Break it down. You've got to stay. The enemy wants to pull you out. He wants to pull you out of peace. That's so true. He wants to pull you in the flesh. Yeah. Totally. Mm -hmm. yes. Totally. Yes. Yes. Mm. We got to be like uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and that bad Negro. <laughs> When they said, when King Nebuchadnezzar, he said, let me tell you something, if God don't bring us out of this fiery furnace, we will not bow down to you. You got to be, you got to come say, God, whatever may, I'm going to trust you with all my heart. I ain't being moved by nothing. I'm not going to be moved. Why? Because as a believer, we know Romans 8, 28, and we know, what do we know? That all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord, that those that are called according to his purpose. He said, I give you power over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm you. He said, I teach your hands to war and your fingers to fight. Yes. Amen. Amen. How can you war without warfare? Mm. 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 Say that. Mm. True that. Mm. Wow. Wow. How can you war without warfare? We're going to have opposition. We're going to have challenges. We're going to have tests. But can you set your face like a flint and say, I don't care what comes. I'm not giving on God. I'm not being moved by what I see here. Feel, and I'm not going to be anxious. Mm -hmm. Y'all get mad at Philippians. Y'all get mad at Paul. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> I'm going to close out. Listen to this. And this is not just with what's going on now, but in your everyday life. You have to choose. You're right. I made a choice. Yeah. I live a very peaceful life, but I don't always live a peaceful life. I choose to live a peaceful life. I choose not to have drama in my life. <laughs> Whether it comes through friends, family members, co-workers, whatever. I choose to stay. You have to choose peace. Follow peace with all men and holiness without su such can see the Lord. You have to choose. You've got to say, mm -mm, you, you're not, you, look, God didn't run me too far. You are not disturbing my peace. So let me put you on time out. I'm going to put you on time out. Break it down. Break it down. Amen. Phones have a thing. That's why phones, every time your phone rings, you have a choice to answer it. Yes. <laughs> True that. True that. You have a choice to answer it. Or a choice not to answer it. That's right. When you get a text, you got a choice to text back or not to text back. And you have to love yourself to say, you know what? I love you, but right now I'm gonna love you from a distance and I'm gonna pray for you because I'm not I'm you ain't coming you ain't disturbing my peace. Right. Oh, I'm so anxious. Oh, I'm so stressed out. Oh, I'm so depressed. And you're a spirit filled believer, you're a person of prayer. What do you mean? I'm not saying the enemy not gonna try to rattle you sometimes, Absolutely. but you got you got you got to snap back. Yes, Talk it right. Say, Lord, help me to snap back. Lord, help me to snap back. Talk it right. Verse six says, "Don't be pulled in different directions." Right. Everybody say, self. Self. Tonight. Tonight. I choose. I choose. I will not. I will not be pulled in different directions or worry about a thing. Or worry about a thing. That's good. Give God a hand of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Say, I choose, I choose to be saturated in prayer, saturated in prayer throughout, each day. throughout each day. It's a, it's a choice. Not saturated in Facebook. 
Yes. Not saturated in Instagram. Yes. Not saturated in my phone. I gotta get to the throne. I gotta get to the throne. Yes. Right, I'm, I'm gonna read this and hold up. Don't be pulled in different directions or worried about a thing. Be saturated in prayer throughout each day. Offering your faithful requests before God with overflowing gratitude. Tell him every detail of your life. Or tell him what you're going through. Tell him how you feel. Yes, God. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right. I hope that was a side deliverance. <laughs> Verse 7 says, what will happen when you do that? Then God's wonderful peace yes. that transcends human understanding mm -hmm. will make the answers known to you. Let me tell you something. If you need an answer, the Holy Spirit will drop that answer to you. Oh, yes. And I release, Father God, the answers of God yeah, to be released awesome. in this place in Jesus' right. name. Amen. Whatever your people need, Father, I thank you that in all of their ways, they will acknowledge you and you will direct their paths. Sometimes God may tell you the situation, just be, don't do nothing. Just be still and know that I'm God. Trust me where you can't trace me. Talking right, Pastor. Verse 7, then God's wonderful peace that transcends human understanding will make the answers known to you through Jesus Christ. Listen to this. Close now. I'm, I'm trying to help you all tonight. Number 8, so keep your thoughts continually fixed. Listen to this. So keep your thoughts continually fixed on all that is authentic and real, mm. honorable and admirable, mm. beautiful and respectful, mm -hmm. pure and holy, mm -hmm. merciful and kind, mm. and fasten your thoughts on every glorious work of God. Yeah. That mess is good, right, Pastor Faye? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Praise him always, not sometimes. Praise him. David summed it up in Psalm 34 and 1 when he said, I will. I choose to bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall always be in my mouth. Mm -hmm. When I'm feeling bad, I'm going to praise him. Yes. When I'm going through, I'm going to praise him. When things don't come out the way I thought it was going to come out, I'm going to praise him. We are men and women of praise. That's one thing I learned when I was in the Holiness Church. I learned uh, going to the Holiness Church, I would see women of God, Minister Claire, that they would lose, their husbands would pass. Or husbands would move on. People, they would have death in their family. And I would see them women of God. They didn't stay home and went on sabbatical. That, that, that was new to me because when I came from a lot of people stayed home after that something happened. I would see these women of God. They would come to church and they would dance and they would praise God. I'm not saying it wasn't hurting them, but they continued. I said, I ain't never seen nothing like this. And I mean, they were, and I mean these people were real. It wasn't fake. And these were real women and mothers of Zion that have lost, but they kept praising God. And, and it taught me how to keep praising God. They learned the art of what Psalm 34 and 1, David, when David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Sometimes their body, your body aching, but Lord, I praise you. Sometimes I don't know how I'm going to make a way, but God, I praise you. That's an art. Everybody can't do that. When you're religious, you can't do that. You got to know God to do that. But say, I'm going to bless the Lord at all times. And you don't lose a husband. You don't lose a wife. You don't lose a child. You don't lose a grandchild, but you still coming to church. And you're not just coming, but praising God. Right past. That, that, that's, and, and you see how God and that's how today we have so many men and women of God that are so strong Amen. because they stuck with God in the hard Amen. places Amen. Amen. there's an anointing that comes upon your life when you stick with God in the hard places when you stick with God, no matter what comes, but you say, you know what, I, I'm struggling right now but I, I'm sticking with God, I'm telling you God is honored, God loves faithfulness and he loves loyalty. Wow. Not loyalty to a man, not loyalty to a building, but when you're loyal to God and you're faithful to God, he said a faithful man shall abound with blessings. Because sometimes every you have every natural reason to say, you know what, I'm staying home, I'm done. I, 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 I'm done. But 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 you, you do it for God, I'm telling you, he'll strengthen you and he'll fortify you and he'll anoint you. He'll do it for you because he sees you really love him. Let's give God a hand of praise. That's a good place to praise him. So I encourage you tonight by the Spirit of God, no matter what you're going through, stick with God. No matter how you feel, stick with God. Sometimes you got to wipe the tears before you get out the car, but stick with God and give God praise. Huh? People don't know what you're going through just because you smile and you're happy. They don't know what, what it took to get you here. Y'all not saying nothing. Let's give God another hand of praise. Verse 8. I'm getting cold now. Verse 8 says, so keep your thoughts continually fixed. On all that is authentic and real, yeah. honorable and admirable, beautiful and respectful, pure and holy, merciful and kind, and fasten your thoughts on every glorious work of God, That's praising right. him always. I want to admonish you to praise God always. Amen. Follow the example of all we have imparted to you 
and the God of peace will be with you in all things. My thought for you tonight, and I leave you with this, don't be anxious, pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Don't get into anxiety, pray. Don't get into no groups and huddles, pray. God is calling you to pray. Because no matter what, we got to continue. And I'm going to talk about it tomorrow, but we got to go deeper. I said, I, I said, they ain't ready to go deeper tonight. I got to get this anxiety out of them. I gotta get, they ain't ready to go deeper tonight. I got to get some stuff out of them. But we have to go deeper. And, but I will say this. I would love to see everybody that was all caught up in all of this. If you would, y'all told Pastor Ben, I said, if you would use all that same energy, all that same strength, all that same vigor and doing the will of God, the nation, the world will be saved. If you put all that energy you just put into all this election and stuff and you put it into the will of God for your life and you fought for the will of God for your life and you prayed for the will of God, do you know, I'm telling you, souls will be saved. The, the nation, the world will be saved. You wouldn't have to be praying so hard. They'll be saved. Yes. If we put all that time, all that energy, all that strength, all that money, all that traveling, going here, praying here, going here, we, the world will be saved. Amen. You're talking right fast. I'm done. Give God a hand of praise. God bless you on the phone lines. We bless you tonight in Jesus' name. Amen.